John here from CoreIndustry.com. Today we're taking a look at how to play Amy Winehouse's performance of Valerie. She was the winner in this past week's Throwback Thursday, getting ahead of Feel Good Inc. by the Gorillas by just a little bit. It was neck and neck for a long time. I wasn't sure over the weekend who was gonna win, but just the other day she got ahead and now here we are, gonna learn how to play this song today. So just like the previous weeks, we have three new contenders for next week. So if you click that link in the description, you can vote for one of these three songs. We have Jason Mraz's I'm Yours, Eagle Eye Cherry's Save Tonight, and Jack Johnson's Better Together. Three classic acoustic songs. So click that link, vote for which one you wanna hear next week. All right, so in this song, we're gonna be using some bar chords. We have some jazz kind of chords, some seventh chords to play on the A string, and then some basic bar chord shapes on the E string as well. There's not a lot of parts in this one, so we're gonna be spending a lot of time on the strum pattern, getting it really funky and really tight, okay? So if you check the description, you're gonna find a link to the chord chart down there, and you can also sign up for my newsletter too, because you'll get a free three-part mini course on how to switch chords faster. All right, so let's zoom in and take a look at how to play Valerie. Okay, so the beginning of this song starts out with this very short little lick, and it sounds like this. Just that little thing right there. So to make that, what you do is you bar across the 11th fret on the B and high E strings. It's called a double stop. You play that and slide it up two frets to the 13th fret, just like that. Once you're there, you do a down up strum, and then you jump back to fret 11 with one more down strum. And that's it. Cool? So now we jump into the first part of this song, the first verse. Here we're gonna play E flat major seven and F minor seven. Just rocking back and forth, two measures a piece. So, an E flat major chord goes like this. Your first finger bars across fret six from the A to high E strings. Your third finger goes on fret eight of the D string. Your second finger goes on fret seven of the G string. And your fourth finger goes on fret eight of the B string. So from low to high, it's six, eight, seven, eight, six. Don't play the low E string. If you can, use your first finger to mute it. Just like that. All right, now moving on to the F minor seven chord. It goes like this. Your first finger bars across the eighth fret now from the A to high E strings. Your third finger goes on fret 10 of the D string. Your second finger goes on fret nine of the B string. And your fourth finger goes on fret 11 of the high E string. So from low to high, it is eight, 10, eight, nine, 11. And just like before, we don't wanna hear that low E string. So use your first finger to mute it. If you don't, gonna sound like that and that's pretty awful. So that's the F minor 7 chord. We have E flat major 7 and F minor 7 just going back and forth like I said two measures at a time doing this strum pattern. So in this lesson, we're gonna spend a majority of our time learning how to play that strum pattern because that's where the magic really is in this song. So, on our E flat major seven chord, we're gonna do this. Let's do it one beat at a time. On beat one, we have one down strum. It's super easy, it's one, okay? On beat two, we have two, and a. So it's down, down, up. That second down is a muted strum. So you can either pull off on your fretting hand or do some kind of karate chop action 
with your picking hand, okay? So, one, two, and up. Moving on to beat three. Beat three goes like this. It's three, E, and. So it's down, up, muted, followed by a down strum. Three, E, and, okay? And then beat four is the same thing. So it's, however, we hold that last one into the next measure, we're tying it to the beginning of the uh, second measure. So let's put the first measure together one more time, one step at a time. The first beat is just a down strum. The second beat is down, down, up, okay? The third beat is down, up, down, and the fourth beat is down, up, down again, but we're holding that last down strum into the second measure. Let's put all that together. I'll play it slow. One last time. One, two, and up, three, E, and, four, E, and. Nice. Now, the second measure. Again, we're holding that last strum that we did through into the second measure. It's actually gonna be all of the first beat. So we're gonna actually start strumming on the second beat. So it's gonna be four, E, and, and then we go, two and a, uh, just like in the previous measure, and then we go three, e, and, again, like the previous measure, and then we do this, we go four, e, and, so it's backwards, we go two strums and then a muted strum, okay? So it's two and a, uh, three, e, and, four, e, and, whew. Two, and a, uh, three, e, and, four, e, and. Right? It's gonna take some time if you're not used to playing this kind of syncopated pattern, but if you go through the steps, slowly, you'll be able to play this. So, let's put the first measure and the second measure together so we can hear how the whole thing goes. That's it right there. One, two, and a, three, e, and, four, e, and, one, two, and a, three, e, and, four, e, and. And then you switch to the next chord, F minor seven, do the same thing. One, two, and a, three, e, and, four, e, and, one, two, and a, three, e, and, four, e, and. Now, if you speed it up, it does sound pretty epic. So let's do that. So right there, that was the whole first verse. We're just going back and forth two times between our two chords. So it's E flat major seven, going to F minor seven, going back to E flat major seven, going back to F minor seven, and all of a sudden, we're in the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus is gonna go like this. Now we're on an A flat major chord. Barring across, fret four on all six strings, add your third and fourth fingers to the sixth fret of the A and D strings, and then your second finger goes on fret five of the G string. So it's four, six, six, five, four, four from low to high. Using all six strings, this is an A flat major chord. So we do this. One and two and three and four and. Just down strums, accenting the down beats. One and two and three and four and. Going to a G minor seven chord. 
here, bar across fret three on all six strings, add your third finger to fret five of the A string, so it's three, five, three, 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 three. That's a G minor seven. Do the same thing, one and two and three and four and. Go back to A flat. Go back to G minor seven. Go back to A flat. Go back to G minor seven. And then you go to B flat major. B flat seven, okay? So these two chords go like this. If you take your A flat shape and move it up two frets, you get B flat. So this is gonna be six, eight, eight, seven, six, six from low to high. If you take your pinky off and put it on to fret nine of the B string and bar the D string, it's gonna make a B flat seven chord. So this is six, eight, six, seven, nine, six. That's your B flat seven. And you just do the same thing. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then you're into the chorus. So let's play that whole pre-chorus section. It's only those four chords from the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A flat goes to G minor seven. Goes back to A flat. Back to G minor 7, A flat, G minor 7, go to B flat, B flat 7. Okay, and then we're on to the chorus. What's cool about the chorus is it's the same chord progression and the same strum pattern as the verse. So it's that over and over and over again. So for the chorus, you play two times through just like you did on the first verse. So after we play the chorus, we're on to the second verse. And the second verse is gonna be double the length of the first verse. So instead of going back and forth twice, we go back and forth four times, okay? So we're gonna end up playing those two chords back and forth six times before we do the next pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus, just like we learned, is gonna be the same. And then we're into another chorus, which is two times through again. And then we do another first verse. We repeat the first verse, which is two times through our E flat major seven, F minor seven, chord progression. We know how to do that. We do another pre-chorus, okay? And then we do another chorus, but this time it's a double chorus. So basically we have all the sections down, there's only two sections that E flat major seven to F minor seven part and that pre-chorus which is that A flat G minor seven A flat G minor seven A flat G minor seven B flat and B flat seven section. So once you got all those parts down you got the song down okay and again you can check the description to see the chord chart so you can match the words to all these different chords that are happening. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this one, if you learned how to play the song, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, you can hit that subscribe button too. All right, so don't forget to vote for one of the songs for next week's Throwback Thursday. I'll see you again in another lesson.